Welcome to lesson 9. Let's get started. Der Kanzler scheint seine Hunde sehr gern zu haben. Let's take a look. That's an interesting sentence. Second position is scheint. Der Kanzler is a unit you cannot separate. The Chancellor. You cannot say the. The by Chancellor. You have to say the Chancellor buys. Yeah? So these are units. You cannot separate that either. Neither can you do that in English. So scheint. Um, is a special word because we had this in the beginning, die Sonne scheint, but in this case it has a second meaning, a different meaning, and that means seems. So something that shines is shiny, maybe is not what it seems. So seine, you might remember, sein, the endings here, this is stuff you learn in the course. So sein is his, and the hounds we know already, we can really just put this there. And sehr, sehr, remember? Very, yeah, very something. So I just go quickly through the things we've done several times and haben. Oh, there's another verb at the end. So this is only possible uh, with sein, uh, with scheinen for now. Yeah, scheinen has a few extra uh, powers special power. So the Chancellor seems his dogs very something to have. Now that leaves us with gern. Gern sometimes appears as gerne and there is no difference whatsoever between the two other than gerne has two syllables. And sometimes Germans prefer the one over the other just for uh, auditive reasons. Yeah? And yeah, because it's, it's just easier to say it in a certain context. So gerne uh, the best translation I have for you is with pleasure. Yeah, some people say "Ich hab dich gerne," I like you, but uh, that causes trouble because they think "gern" or "gerne" is a verb, which it isn't. Yeah, uh, it's it's an adverb. So he seems to have his hounds with pleasure. Basically, means he seems to like his dogs. Überall sind Bilder von ihnen. We, we had überall. It looks like overall or above all. Maybe above all is a better word. Above all. He, for example, he loves his dogs über alles. So, um, nah, nah, forget about that. Sorry, my apologies. Um, über alles would be above all, but überall means everywhere. So, I'm not sure how you make the connection between above all and everywhere, but I'll leave it to you. Yeah? Everywhere. Überall. Hmm. If, I, if I ever get a geister splits on this, I'll let you know. Sind, I hope by now, you know, is a form of to be. Yeah? It's uh, the plural form. Are. So everywhere there are. Bilder. And there's a very horrible newspaper in Germany. Horrible. Horrible piece of paper with lots of trash on it and that's called the Bild Zeitung. Yeah? Yeah, I have nothing else to say to this. They, they only try to separate people and to uh, spread hate and doubt and, and such things. There's nothing good in there, maybe except the sports section. So this is, is a, yeah, that's our Mirror, I think, or Sun, I think they are similar. So it's a tabloid. So Bild Zeitung, but this is of course not what we're talking about here. Bild, um, yeah, is there anything? Well, some, some of you might know some conspiracy theories and there's a huge one going on with the Bilderberg um, community of I don't really know. There's a conference, I think. Build up a conference. If you're into conspiracy theories, go for it. Yeah? Uh, I let that be. But uh, Bilderberg so literally means the mountain of pictures or paintings. In this case, I'm pretty sure it's photos. Um, don't think that he has much or many paintings of the dogs. Might be. Might be. So everywhere there are Paintings and the ER indicates a plural here. Von Ihnen. Well, literally from, but again, these little words cannot be translated. Ihnen, remember, in one piece means them. 
It has nothing to do with in or im. It's really them. So paintings of them. Not easy, that one, even though it was short. So, next sentence. Über dem Wohnzimmertisch hängt sogar ein riesiges Foto von den beiden Möpsen. Where's the verb? Well, über builds a community with these three, uh, two other words. And that means this one is the verb. Hängt, hang. And it looks like English, so it means to hang. So something hangs there. And what is hanging? We look further. A. Uh, riesig. Maybe you've heard of Adam Ries. Uh, in German we say Adam Riese, which means giant. Adam the giant, he was a famous mathematician. His original name was Ries, I think. But we say Adam Riese. So riesig means giant. Giant. Photo, same in German. Von beiden Möpsen. We had this before, a, a picture of den beiden again, the both. Um, Möpsen, do you remember them? Pugs. They are the main uh, yeah, topic of this whole story. So there is somewhere a giant photo of the both of both the pugs. And uh, where is that? You see here this beautiful word. Let me kill this for now to have a bit more space. There's a tisch. Remember, German tables are made of tissues, so that's a table. And Zimmer, we had Hans Zimmer before, who was born in a very tiny room, so it's a room table. It's a table for a room. And what room? The Wohn. You remember the Wohn? Yet the Wohnung. It's where people live. So it's a living room. Yeah. Living room table. What a beautiful construction. Wohnzimmer Tisch. So über, we had in the beginning, überall and everything, it's over the, not, yeah, well, above the, sorry, for the over and above, uh, depending on the context. So above the living room table hangs, to Gabi ignore, a photo of both the parks. An easy one, remember, erzählen, zählen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, was zählen, 2, and in the banks, the guy or the woman who uh, counts the money is the teller, so it means to tell. So Mr. Müller is telling something. Herr Merkel hat die beiden Hunde schon, seit sie kleine Welpen waren. So Mr. Merkel hat. And these are actually two sentences and uh, I'll tell you in a minute how I can see this. This, he really has them in the sense of owning them. So die beiden Hunde, both the hounds. Schon, do you remember? Schon schön? Yeah, already. So Mr. Merkel has the two dogs already and now comes since when and seit means since yeah and then z is always referring to something and what is it referring to what have you mentioned before it's not a woman it's the dog so uh, them klein kelvin klein small so how do you call small dogs puppies i don't know where the word welpen comes from or Welpe, it's one Welpe, two Welpen, yeah. And you remember once there was a war and because it's two puppies, two Welpen, uh, Vaha needs the plural ending en. Were, since they, small puppies, were. Lovely word. Es sind quasi seine Kinder. Maybe you know Kinder Surprise or Kinder Schokolade, a little advertisement here. So, es sind, uh, well, literally it would be, it 
are, but um, the Sint refers to Kinder, because that's plural. Kindergarten, you know, is a garden for children, right? Children, so it's a plural. Uh, the children are quasi, is the same in English, yeah, uh, in sign you remember, his. So the S here doesn't translate as it, um, yeah, I would translate it as they are his children. They are more or less, quasi means more or less, his children. Yeah, you have the same virtually, it's another word. Yeah. Aber nur wenige Menschen wissen, dass es sie gibt. See, we have the das with double S here again. Do you remember what that means? It's referring to the whole sentence that you've mentioned before. It's actually answering uh, what the people know. Yeah, you remember wissen, wisdom, that. And we might have mentioned as gibt, it gives, but whenever you have it gives, it basically means um, well, as gibt means there are, that they are, and it makes more sense to say that they exist. Yeah, so as gibt, it gives, is, is basically a, a circumscription of it exists. Aber, remember, the B means but. Wenige Menschen, I, I, wenig, wenig, wenig. Wenig. The only connection I can find is few. The W of few is the same as the W of wenig. Yeah? Wenig. Menschen, well, you can see the word min in here, but it includes not only min, uh, yeah, it could also be women. So, mention simply means all kinds of men, including women and non-women, and that means people. Yeah, the mensch, mensch, singular, means man, in, in a biblical sense, uh, a person, a human. Yeah, you have also human. Remember human. Yeah, I know it's written with an A, but this helps to remember it. So only very few human know factually that they exist. 